Learning objectives include how do various viruses multiply? This is a very interesting topic, actually, as we see that there are various kinds of uh, uh, viruses because the nucleic acid is only of one kind, either DNA or RNA or single standard or double standard. So there are various modes of uh, virus replication. If we start with the multiplication of a DNA virus, a DNA virus would have a DNA as it would attach and then enter into the host cell. The nucleic acid is uncoated by the host enzymes. And then that nucleic acid, because it's DNA, it must encode some proteins. So for encoding proteins, it should be able to make a messenger RNA from its DNA. And that is what happens when it infects the cell. The DNA virus would use the machinery of the cell, the same RNA polymerase that the host cell uses for itself. Same RNA polymerase could be used for making messenger RNA from the viral DNA. And then that messenger RNA would go through early phase uh, or early uh, proteins that are basically enzymes for replication of uh, the uh, DNA, viral DNA, as well as then there would be a late phase where messenger RNA would be made to make uh, viral capsid proteins. And then when nucleic acid is replicated as well as the capsids are available, uh, those would be assembled into a full virion particle or virus particles, and they're released into the air or into the medium. If we have a plus sense, plus or sense strand RNA virus as a nucleic acid, this RNA virus has a unique way of replication. The virus would attach to the cell and then would get uncoated. Now, since this is a viral genome, this is a and this is plus sense. Plus or sense strand RNA is basically equal to messenger RNA. That means that this RNA could be translated into a protein, early protein as well as late protein. So what would happen is that this RNA, because it is plus or sense strand, that means that it is equivalent to messenger RNA. It can encode or uh, it can be translated into early proteins, and in early proteins, it would make RNA polymerase because with the host cell, there is no RNA polymerase that can use RNA as a template and make another copy of RNA. So this is a unique thing with the viral uh, RNA or RNA that are, uh, the, sorry, the viruses that are RNA in nature. This is a unique feature with them that they would encode RNA polymerase that should be able to replicate RNA molecule or RNA template into another RNA copy. And that once that is achieved, so RNA is replicated, and in the late phase, there would be a capsid formed by the viral protein, by the, by the viral gene. And then once the assembly, uh, before the assembly, once capsid and nucleic acids are available, that they would be assembled into full-grown virus, and the virus would be released from the cell. If RNA is a negative sense or antisense, then what happens is basically that this RNA, because it cannot be used as a messenger RNA, so there must be some enzyme available within the capsid. And this is also a unique feature with the RNA viruses that are antisense in nature, that they, their capsid, within the capsid enclosed is a few molecules of RNA polymerase that would act onto this copy of the original RNA and would make a messenger RNA out of it. And once that messenger RNA is made, then that means this messenger, messenger RNA could be translated into proteins, early proteins and late proteins, and then the nucleic acids would be able to be put or assembled into a fully uh, full-grown virus particle. So this is the way antisense strand RNA viruses are replicated. They possess RNA polymerase when they attack the host. They already have that. And then they use that RNA polymerase to make more copies, which basically act as messenger RNAs. And once the messenger RNA is there, 
the rest is just the story double stranded rna although they have both copies which one of the copy of this um, rna could act as messenger rna but that rna is basically is bound is basically complementary to the other strand so it's not really released so they also need rna polymerase when they in fact they they possess they carry that enzyme with them which basically uses that rna polymerase to make more copies of messenger rna and then messenger rna are used for making early uh, proteins and late proteins and then the the virus is replicated much like other viruses then comes the the retroviruses retroviruses are also unique that they they basically consist of rna viruses but this rna is uh, integrated into the, the the genome of the host so rna must be translated or sorry trans, transcribed or made a copy into a dna so rna is converted into dna rna copy is converted into dna so with the host there is no such enzyme present that can use rna as a template and make a dna copy so that means that these viruses also possess that enzyme which is called reverse transcriptase with them and once they infect the cell they convert their rna into dna and that dna becomes integrated into the host cell and then this remains silent latent until there is a need or there is a stimulus for the virus to replicate and then again this goes through uh, from the dna is converted into rna and then uh, it is assembled by those late proteins into a fully grown virus particles so in summary there are various stages there are various uh, um, ways of replicating rna and dna viruses